I'm in a cemetery outside of Chicago, here to see the grave of Maurice Tillette, believed by many to be the real-life Shrek, the inspiration behind that character. He was born in 1903 in the Russian mountains to uh, French parents. He was known as the French angel or really just the angel. And at first he was a, a normal, quote unquote, just typical normal looking boy with a sweet face. And in fact, that's where his nickname, the angel comes from. His mother would call him angel. He was fairly typical, normal looking until he hit 20 years old. And once he hit 20 years old, his body started to change. He noticed growth in his hands and feet and head where the rest of his body kind of stayed the same, which was kind of strange. And it was um, a condition, I believe is pronounced acromegaly. And I think Andre the Giant had that as well. It's basically um, caused when a benign tumor is on the pituitary gland and it causes an irregular bone overgrowth. So that's how he got that strange physique, that, that strange body of his. At five foot nine, 270 pounds, he was perfect for wrestling. And he had a very intimidating look to him, obviously, as you can see in the pictures. So he was perfect. He started wrestling in the 1930s. And uh, by 1940, he was the AWA World Heavyweight Champion. And was kind of known by many as just being unstoppable. And this is the grave here. Unfortunately, by 1945, his health began to fail. I think he officially kind of retired from wrestling in uh, 1953 and uh, died 1954, September 4th, from cardiovascular disease. Now, I don't know who this is but they died on the same day. Oh, I see. Friends whom even death couldn't part. So I guess they were just good friends buried together. So I did a little research on Carlos Pozella, AKA Carl. He was Maurice's trainer manager and obviously great friend and he died of lung cancer and upon hearing this uh, Maurice died the same day of a heart attack pretty sad now there's no real proof that he was the inspiration for Shrek but you know, if you look at these pictures, it's, I mean, many feel, and I feel too, that it, it is, you know, it, the resemblance is uncanny. So if any of you would like to visit, he's at the Lithuanian National Cemetery, just outside of Chicago, in Justice, Illinois. Just make sure that there's no thunderstorms coming in when you do so. All right, I'm getting back to my car. See you in the next video.